15 seconds. That's apparently how much time we have to grab your... Attention, attention, attention. Uh, you still here? Seriously. I guess if you see it on the web, it must be true, right? But wait, it seems that you are smarter than the cynics thought. You're willing to stick around and see what we have to say. Well, we've got some good news about salmon. These boats are finally being used again, out on the ocean, to harvest salmon. For a while, it seemed that only things that came from Central Valley dirt could be called food. This is some of the most fertile farmland in the entire country. Ladies and gentlemen, this has become a dust bowl. But things have changed. That's the way it was two years ago when we started this thing called Salmon Water Now. So as part of a birthday party, we thought we'd use this demarcation point to see how salmon are doing. Like most things in life, it's a mixed bag. Bags of nuts. Grapes. Peppers. Dirt filled with natural and manufactured toxins. Politics and PR. Media and people standing together to say no more to the status quo. It's been a hectic two years. You can barely see this grocery store through the heavy San Francisco summer fog. The good news is inside. For the first time in three years, you can walk in and buy locally caught wild salmon, caught by the small family-owned boats who are also a part of the San Francisco Community Fishing Association. In the two years that we've been at this, the stories impacting salmon have had a huge impact on people. A constantly moving saga with dynamic twists in a still ongoing struggle. I know multi-generational fa fishing families that are hoping their children don't want to be fishermen anymore. And it goes not only from the boats, to the bait shops, to the fuel dock, the whole harbor has seen a severe decline. 25% of our business is fishermen, and of that, if we have 10% of the 25% left, we're lucky. We have 16 water-related uh, businesses, commercial tenants here, that are all being affected by this. The impact goes further than just some fishermen that aren't fishing. It's the, the communities that they live in that, that are suffering you know, a lot. The, the ripple effects all the way through the economy is, is you. It's just like a frenzy here. Salmon is probably the most exciting. Keeping the place open with salmon season was not the easiest thing anyway. So you take that away and it's, uh, it's just a huge burden, you know? Regrettably, Salmon are still very much at risk of disappearing, but we know why, and we know how to reverse their decline. The salmon economy is so real. I mean, it's just right there, right in front of us. You can catch it, you can weigh it, you can sell it, you can eat it. And we know how to sustain the flow of this kind of natural capital. Nature brings these critters back year after year. We know what they need. Abundant clean water, spawning grounds in the river. These basic provisions have been there and have helped the salmon sustain year after year. So This is the same fish that come underneath the Golden Gate Bridge here. 
These are the same fish which swim 100 yards offshore from downtown San Francisco. They swim right by my doorstep and up the Sacramento. This is personal. This is not something that's happened in some place else. This is happening to our community, the salmon community. What's happened here is this has created economic disaster. We've lost 23,000 jobs, $2.8 billion in revenue, and probably $200 million in local and state taxes. We know that water diversions that occur at the dams and occur on the rivers and occur in the delta further reduce flows in the rivers and alter their timings. Uh, again, reducing water quality and in some cases, particularly when you have water diversions that don't have protective fish screens, they can actually remove the fish from the environment, particularly the, the younger fish as they're migrating downstream. What we do have is a severe disconnect. How can we restore the delta, its fish, its rivers and sloughs, by taking away more water? We can't save the delta by diverting it dry. The voices of those who want you to believe that the decline of salmon has not been caused by big agriculture's thirst for increased water pumping are quick to point to other reasons. They'll watch this video and say again that the reasons are pollution in the delta, predator fish, and their favorite, ocean conditions. Anything and everything except water diversions. Water pumping increased by over 16% in the last decade alone, as junior water rights holders who are last in line to get water pushed their way up in the line and seized more salmon water. Record high water diversions in recent years tracks directly with record low recent salmon returns. For too long, our government policies have been misguided by politically motivated junk science instead of the sober, dispassionate, and accurate application of real science. Judge Wanger, when he found that the biological opinions were invalid, related the sloppy science on which they were based. They label any science that suggests that salmon need increased water flows is sloppy, sloppy science. science. And yet, when the National Academy of Science reviewed the research, they concluded that what big agriculture, their political friends, and even the court has called sloppy science was in fact science that absolutely justified steps taken by the government to reverse salmon swim toward oblivion. The National Academy of Sciences says federal actions keeping water from Westside farmers were scientifically justified. For the moment, the commercial salmon fleet is able to be fishing again. Recreational fishing has families coming into this marina after a day of salmon fishing. Jenna, it's her second time coming out, caught a nice 25 pound salmon today. That is good news. But make no mistake, the forces of darkness that have been a major factor in salmon's collapse are aggressively pushing their agenda for more water. Salmon continue to need your help. They need you to stay focused and involved, to speak out when politics threatens to trump sound science, to proclaim forcefully that we need... We need salmon water now. We, we do need salmon water now. We need salmon water now. We need salmon water now. Salmon water now. We need salmon water now. We do need salmon water what now. What we need is salmon water. Without salmon water now, we have no chance. We need salmon water now. We need salmon water yesterday. Salmon water. <laughs>